header bidding is is kind of the the highest uh, uh, we'll start at header bidding and header bidding came on the scene 2015 2016 as a way to monetize inventory slightly differently it would always been done in this waterfall fashion where I got to look at an impression, pass it to you, you pass it to someone else. And then someone came up with the bright idea, why am I doing that? Why don't I just make it a jump ball and everyone in a unified auction gets to bid on it all at once and sends back the results. And so header bidding uh, took off up and to the right. It helped out publishers dramatically. It helped them uh, be a little less reliant on just one vendor, Google. And um, it, was, it was a panacea right up until it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, it became very complicated to manage. Um, and to try to help that, uh, we, along with AppNexus and a handful of others, created prebid.org, which was this open source community where uh, each company would push any developments they're making for this header wrapper into prebid.org. Uh, and that took off like wildfire. So now folks have this choice of being able to take this open, transparent system and implement that on their pages. And that was great for a period of time. And then they realized, boy, that's a lot of heavy lifting. I have to hire engineers. I am sub-optimizing my monetization because I'm lacking tools in, in, in graphics and UI and analytics. And so we saw a real opening there to help our publishing partners. And so we, for the last six months, we've been building this pre-bid as a managed service. We call it Demand Manager. And we have done it in a closed beta, very, very select number of uh, big enterprise publishers. And it's really uh, worked out great. It's done everything we hoped it would, which is allow the publisher to go back to what they do great, monetization, but not have to worry about integrations, technical limitations, not have to worry about having to extract stuff, put it into a spreadsheet, and make head or tails of it. We're doing all that for them through the UI. And in addition, we're doing all the implementations, and it's connected into our whole uh, marketplace. So over 70, buyers, every 70 DSPs are buying on it today. It's got great PMP capabilities, private marketplaces, good um, a programmatic guarantee capability. So it really seems to be meeting a need in the market right now because this kind of maturation of header bidding and into the next stage. Great, and how do you see the um, opportunity for publishers changing and for companies such as yourself to um, provide programmatic services on the sell side? How's that developing and where is that going? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's a great question. I think the most exciting aspect of it isn't necessarily just about whether or not Rubicon has a bright feature, we hope we do. But I think what's really important for publishers this time around, as opposed to any other, and I've been in for good or for bad ad tech since the inception, with open source as a viable alternative that is supportive of the industry, that is clean, transparent, uh, well-funded from many, many different partners, they no longer are faced with having to choose just a vendor or having to make a bet, even on a Rubicon project, hey, are those guys going to be around five years from now and are they going to be responsive? This open source pre-bid answers that. It's almost like you're now working with this a huge engineering company because we're all putting all of our assets in. Even publishers are putting their assets in. And it's really creating, it's collapsing timeline. So instead of having a four-year build out, you're able to get things to market in a quarter that you would normally as a private company not be able to do that. So I think for, for the publishing community, it's the first time they have a credible, open solution versus closed solutions that they've had before. And I'm not just talking Google. Other folks have had ad server, DSP, SSP, all wrapped into one, but you had to choose which one? Uh, and you had to pick them based upon what flavor. And now all of a sudden you have this whole world that's this open source community that's only getting better. And it's kind of this virtuous cycle where the more publishers that use it, the better it gets because there's more learning. And it's just, a, I think it provides publishers with a, a, a path to their own destiny that they've lacked uh, since the inception of programmatic buying.